Android Authority, what is going on? My name is Kevin the Tech Ninja. Wait a minute. Why the heck did I just bow? Where have I seen that before? Ah, the Karate Kid with Will Smith's son. That's where the guy bows at. Anyways, today is the tips and tricks for the Nexus 5. The month of October has been a very exciting month for Android users. First, the announcement of KitKat, and then the highly anticipated Nexus 5. As expected, the Nexus 5 and KitKat both bring enhancements and provides a quicker way to get things done. And because the Nexus 5 runs a somewhat stock version of KitKat, some of these tips you can use on a different device that runs KitKat as well. Let's start at the lock screen. This is gonna be the easiest tip that I have for you today. Put your finger over the icon of the camera, and then swipe your finger. That is gonna bring you into your camera. Now that we're in the camera, let's talk about a few things to get a better image. Just like the Moto X, the Nexus 5 camera is good in situations with decent lighting like outdoors. But to get better quality of dim images, try adjusting the camera to HDR for non-motion shots. HDR takes and combines two images with one of lower and higher exposure. If you need more information on HDR photography, Alvin Yabanez wrote a great article on it. The link is in the description below, so make sure you check that out. KitKat comes with Hangouts pre-configured for SMS. I personally think it's a great way to unify communications, but some people prefer to have a separate app. Well, this is possible. Go to Settings, tap More, under Wireless and Networks, select Default SMS app. Now pick the option that you wish to use. This is a common tip that was announced with Jelly Bean, but majority of Android users forget about this one. So here's a quick reminder. Slide the notification shade with two fingers to go directly into quick settings. Now remember, one finger is notifications and two fingers is your quick toggles or settings. Built into KitKat, there is a nifty business lookup feature. Just head over to your dialer and use the top search bar to search for a business. This is a quick and easy way to find some pizza or even a local Home Depot so you can build that bird nest you've been dreaming of. This is also cross-referenced with your call ID. When you receive a phone call, Google does the same thing. It looks up the phone numbers and tries to match it with the business. And when I test it out, it actually works pretty good. So we all know how to access OK Google Now feature from the home screen. Well, this only works if your device voice settings is on US English. To enable this, go to Settings, Language and Input, Voice Speech, and select the Language Options. Tap English and then press English US. So now go back to your home screen and say the phrase, OK Google Now, and voice search will activate automatically. You know, it really seems that more and more applications require GPS to function properly. Well, as we all know, pulling the location data can really drain your battery. Battery saving GPS mode minimizes the number of reference points used to obtain your exact location. Go to settings, location, mode, and enable battery saving. You can also access this from the quick toggles. And if you don't know how to access the quick toggles, you are not paying attention. When the phone is locked and you are listening to Google Play Music, Play Movies, or even Chromecast, you can press and hold the pause button to skip ahead or rewind the media. There's an experimental feature that is built into KitKat. It's called ART. It stands for Android Runtime. This changes the way applications are compiled, thus making them run faster. On a phone like the Nexus 5, you may not see a big difference, but it does increase the speed of slower applications and overall smoothness of scrolling. This is a developmental feature and will continue to get worked on with other versions of Android, but right now you can enable it. Go to Settings, About Phone, and tap the build number until it says you're a developer. Now go back into your Settings, Developer Options, select Runtime, and choose Art. There was also a video that I happened to create back in November that shows you the difference of a device running art and not running art. And you can find that video below in the description. There's also a process stats section built into KitKat now. This is under the exact same developmental options. It will show you background applications and background processes. It's a tool to really dig into your device to see what's actually running. That was my tips and tricks for the Nexus 5. As I said in the intro, this does run a unique version of KitKat. It's not pure KitKat because this phone does a few things that normal phones on KitKat does not do, like the OK Google Now from the home screen. Now, if you have any questions, please let me know below. Also, tell me your favorite tip for the Nexus 5. Once again, guys, my name is Kevin, the Tech Ninja. 
You can find me on YouTube and on Google Plus. The links are below. And we are Android Authority, your source for all things Android.